what's up guys? Appreciate you coming back. We've already got some Paraso Green on the face here. I'm gonna start lathering up. Uh, QED Select 24 millimeter. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to get the remaining lather out of this bowl here. So this is the, um, just a test soap. We're still using it. We're using the heck out of that, that stuff. Very, very good. When it, when it gets released, the new base, uh, you'll be the first to know on this channel at least. All right. But what's cool about this shave is Peter, cyclist, the, uh, the shaving cyclist, sent me his boker to home. And uh, the honing video should have already come out, so you would have already seen that. Um, bicycle racer. This is 182 out of 300. Uh, when I first got this, the razor would not sit as it is sitting right now. It would just constantly close, constantly close, constantly close. So anyway, I, I kind of beat on the pivot pin a little bit until it kind of, it just holds. You know, it holds all the way down here. Doesn't just automatically shut on you. So, and it was automatically shutting on us before. So, honed it up for him, fixed the pivot pin. Hope he's really happy. All right. We have, uh, I think three days worth of growth. So semi-significant growth. As I'm recording this, it's college game day. Um, LSU plays at 11. Oh, shoot. Check it out, the Razor Company. Got to represent the Razor Company and all Jason does for the community. I have my uh, link down below. If you ever purchase anything from the Razor Company, use that link. It's an affiliate link. Doesn't cost you any extra. Sweet. All right, let's go with that. Yeah, I can't wait to test out this edge. I did use my Shobudani. So the Shobudani was used. Uh, with the uh, Tomo Nagura. So puppy right here is actually still wet from, I need to dry that off actually. From me honing, I didn't hone that long ago. So 20 minutes or something. So the Boker, look at that man, that thing is just, that is a beautiful razor. Phena phenomenally looking, like, it's, be it's a beauty, it's a beauty. I wish it were mine. I wish it were mine. I just have enough razors. I can't purchase another one. But anyway, we've heard that before in my purchase one. So, Woo! I still have my peening hammer here from when I beat those uh, pins or pin. You know it's a good edge. You know it's a good edge whenever like the razor is effortless, effortlessly cutting number one. And number two, it's like it's like attracting to the growth. Like it's not deterred by any of the growth, kind of like wanting to pull away from the face. No, it's it's like sucking into the face wanting to it's, Yeah. Great steel on these. And I said this in the honing video. This the boker steel seems a bit softer. That other steels I work with, like Korat and like uh, obviously gold dollars, gold monkeys, all that stuff. But because um, essentially what those are, melted down car bumpers and anything else they can get their hands on. But uh, oh my goodness, Whew. it's nice. The steel is very, very nice. I didn't even look up how much one of these cost, but um, I would assume it's it's a decent price. 
especially since it's a limited run, right? What, what did I say? I don't have my glasses on. Uh, 182 out of 300. So. Oh, wow. Just peels through the growth. Mm. I think I've only ever honed one other boker. It was really early on in my honing career, <laughs> if you can call it a career. Uh, but I don't really remember it, to be quite honest with you. I don't remember the steel. You know, I don't even know if I shaved with it. I don't think I did. I'm amazed. I don't even know what to say. Um, I don't even think it's me at this point. I think it's just the, the actual steel itself. Truthfully. That was effortless. Even through even through the bulk of my chin growth. Now, in my baby bottom smooth, no. It was only one pass, but... Let me throw my glasses on. Something I don't want to do is do a three-pass shave with a razor that I just honed for somebody else. Um... Normally, I don't even try them anymore. I used to try all of them before I sent them back out. Normally, I don't even try them anymore. Wow. Just do a little touch up, actually, on the chin here. I'm not going to do a, a full three pass on this. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to continually use uh, Peter's razor. It's not going to harm it. It's not going to do anything. It might even mellow mellow the sharpness out a little bit more. Um, the more you know, more passes I would do. But uh, my wiry beard, I don't want to. I don't want to shave with it more than I have to. Let's just do a little touch up. Wow. I'm a little jealous. Because not only does this thing look really good, as far as the aesthetics of, uh, of how Boker makes it, but um, it actually shaves extremely well. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So what I'll do, I'm going to clean it up. Obviously, i got to clean it. Um, I will uh, strop it once more, about 150 laps or something like that on the strop. Disinfect it with some barbicide and uh, get it out. Get it out to Peter. Um, but yeah, what a great, great little razor. Wow. You guys know I like the bigger blades, but this is not a big blade at all. And uh, yeah, not a big blade at all. And as far as holding lather, it doesn't hold as much lather as my big blades, but it shaves. It pains me to say that it shaves probably better. That really bugs me. <laughs> All right, let me, let me put that to the side, do a quick little rinse, throw on some aftershave. We're done for the day. Oh, go watch some uh, football. Um, oh yeah, feels great, <clears throat> excellent, Let's see what we have here, oh, check that out, check that out, the Razor Company Towel 2, 
These are the same uh, towels, coincidentally, that you get in hotels. I've always loved the hotel towels. They're a little expensive, though. Uh, there you go. It's the hotel collection. Um, I've seen these same exact hotels, uh, um, towels in the Wyndham in Miami. Um, wasn't there that long ago. So anyway, that's very, very, very luxurious towels. Uh, what do I want to use for aftershave? Let's go ahead and spritz on some of this uh, SIBO Dominican Republic. <laughs> Dominican Republic, Dominican chocolate. Coming from the Dominican Republic nonetheless. We're empty. Toss it. Oh yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna go make some espresso. Got a couple more razors to home later today, but nothing right now. I'm gonna go chill out. Probably take a nap later if I'm being quite honest with you. Probably watch the LSU game, take a nap. Um, might take a nap while I'm watching the LSU game. <laughs> whatever, whatever my body feels. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next day.